and my Lee Enfield out here, my number one Mark III. And what we're going to be doing today, we're testing our Vitivori powder, but I actually want to do some seating depth tests because this is a little bit more. So this is one of my more accurate, reliable guns. This will probably showcase uh, how seating depth can affect the size of your groups more. Uh, and now I don't have a micrometer seating die, so I pretty much had to use my Lee die. So we start off with our basic, um, this is our max overall length, uh, 3.075, 3.072, 2.069. Now this one, uh, this is, <laughs> I went by four thousandths instead of three thousandths. That was mostly because, well, I don't got a micrometer seating die. So although that's an oopsie, that's still within the ballpark. And uh, we only loaded up, since we have the brass for it, uh, five strings. Let's see how they do. Let's see if there's any huge amount of differences. Now, it's a fairly warm day, actually. Uh, well, comparatively speaking, it's about 26 degrees Fahrenheit. But I'm making excuses of myself because I ran out of hot hands. So I have to use gloves. But here, yeah, I'd say it's a little bit worse group than I shot last time. But you can see, lower left, that is very consistent with what we shot last time. So, let's continue with our seating depths, and let's see how that affects the group. So this is 3,000 shorter, and you can see we have a flyer, I suspect... Uh, that's because that was the one that was trimmed shorter. I think I covered that because um, this ammo I loaded up for uh, the very first video of my press review. So uh, I have both a JS2 RCBS uh, press but also a Summit press which I've had for about six months now. And yeah, anyway, you can see a little bit of point impact shift. Group did tighten up with the exception of flyer. But let us trek on. Fascinating. <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say. So I'm just going to leave it be. We got two more groups though. Let's get to them. Okay, here we go. This is our last two. So that's pretty good. Now this... Uh, well this bottom part here, you can see there's wood. I think we hit a staple or something that, uh, but those for sure right there are the bullet holes. Then when we go down to our lowest, this is a uh, four thousandths below. Uh, you can see we have these three that are fairly nice. Then we have a flyer up there. Uh, I'm going to call it as it is and say, that our node, so to speak, is right there. So let's see, this is uh, 3.69 and this is uh, 3.65. So somewhere in between there, those were our most accurate. <sighs> so last part, which really should be the first part, is to chronograph these. Because that would tell us whether or not it's going to be a good load for out 500 yards or more. Uh, not that I fire at those ranges. There's no local ranges that have that ability but for my purposes where I don't need to worry about the bullet speed and I only need to worry about the accuracy of my rifle here we go we had a basic OCW workup and then we messed with our seating depth we found pretty much what's gonna work best for that load and this will be a very tolerant load so whether it gets down to closer to the middle of winter where sometimes it can get negative 20 all the way up to, you know, summer where it's only 80 or 90 up here in the extremes. Uh, we have our load.